So one of the biggest problems we have with titanium sheet is the thickness or the consistency of thickness. The biggest problem is the, the surface finish, but um, the second biggest problem is the consistency of thickness. So I've just cut this out. These are the scales. So I just spent this morning cutting that out of, uh, cutting those out with a water jet cutter. Um, sorry, it's still a little bit too much morning for me. Um, and we've got these pieces here. While most of them are around about 3.63, 3.64, 3.65 millimeters thick, um, there's this one here, for instance, this one. If I measure it, hopefully you can see that. It is 3.52. Now, that's only 0.1 of a millimeter, but when it comes to the chamfer on these, so hopefully you can see that, that little chamfer on the edge there, 0.1 of a millimeter is noticeable. You will see a difference between one or the other. So I've got to arrange these into different thicknesses. Um, and then for each of those on the CNC program here, I've got to, got to run a different program depending on the thickness of the, of the part of the of the blank we put in so uh that's this morning's shenanigans that organized looks like a bell distribution pretty much I don't know how that works but uh right so machining is going well that banging in the background is a uh, Brad who is what are you doing Brad I am changing out uh, the sheets sheath halves for the tack Sheets. Oh yeah, she's. I call them holders. Sheets. Holders. holders. These, sheets. Uh, Same difference. So from yesterday's video, the day before, we made these, or should I say, made this fixture, and uh, for water jet cutting the grooves in. We'll cover it again. I'll show you what we're doing, just in case you missed yesterday's video, or the day before, whatever it was. So we're doing these. So we start with these blanks and we split them open if I can split it open and they go in the machine and they come out like so so we put 10 in at a time we use the little what's it called gun usually with this machine you have to raise the water level or we, we do it anyway um, to you know it stops the noise stops the mess um, and actually, if you cut above the water going into the water, it will eventually cut a hole in the bottom of the tank. Uh, so I've been told by the people who sold me this. So what I'll do is I'll get... Um, Brad, do you want to um, have the... Raise the water level? Le uh, no, leave it down this time. Down. And we'll just do a bit of filming because you got lots of sparks okay. and stuff. It looks cool. So I'm going to get the other camera for that.
I'm gonna put Brad in the spot. What are we doing now? <laughs> uh, we're doing some milling. We just got off lunch. Gonna do some milling. Just off lunch. Gonna do some milling. This is the scales we are continuing to work on. We have how many here? Uh, Two more there. Yep. And a lot there. And a lot here. Brad has done all these this morning. Ah, oh, actually, no. How many have you done this morning? Uh, about twenty. Twenty. So those were done this morning. These were done yesterday. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, Brad's going to carry on milling. We're about how many have we done so far? Do you know? Uh, that many. That many. Plus, I, I think I'm, I'm there's sure another 26, 26 there. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So by the time we do that, we'll be up to around 66, 66 some of like that. So um, this is where it gets tricky. This is where. If you look at these um, blades here, the ones pointing in this direction, those ones are smaller. The internal pocket to accept the scale is smaller than the ones pointing in this direction. I've ordered them around. I've put them, I swear I keep screwing up all the time. I'm lucky I can edit it out. Yeah. Um, I've, I've gone through all these, so all these down here, so that you know I know they're about 56 out of 100 or thereabouts. Uh, or 60 percent will fit all these scales now we've got the it's going to be tricky i think it's going to be a tricky afternoon we're going to brad's going to be on the milling machine i'm going to possibly be on the cad cad cam stuff and on the water jet cutter cutting blanks we may have to modify the fixture etc etc and yeah we'll see how it goes Just organize this. So we got like, we got everything sort of sorted. So that's not small blades, that's small for um, this, the pocket that the scales fit into. It's small, it's, it's nice and tight. So those still need sanding. The, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention it, it gets really hot. It gets hot and pressurized in there and it sort of sprays. Sprays, sprays everywhere. everywhere. All um, over the bread. So these are the scales coming out. Woo -hoo. That's a bit toasty. The problem with these, because uh, they're the little flat things, is they will they will stick to the side of like say the say the lid or the sides of the barrel they will stick and they will stick for the entire duration of the one hour tumble so my my theory is that you add loads of soap and the soap's so slidey and slippery that the stuff can't stick to the side uh we'll find out if that actually works um fingers crossed Ooh, tumbler time See if, uh, see if Brad learns see, from the last one. See if I learn from the last one. See that that foam looks a lot whiter than the other one. The other the other foam was very grey. That was white. Yeah, yeah. That happens sometimes. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe one media is old, one media is new. I don't know. Oh, there's still some hiding in the bottom. Yeah. One hiding in the bottom. Uh, that looks okay though. Yeah. It could just be sitting there. I think it was just sitting there. Yeah. Ah, uh, one more of his friends. So just sitting there, I think. So looking at those two, um, 
two, two lots coming out. I don't see a single one so far that's shiny. So they'd have a machine, they'd have a very silvery machine finish to them. Uh, they all look dark grey, which is good. So fingers crossed um, we don't have any redos. So we put cable ties on these parts, on these holder halves. Comment below, what are the cable ties for? I'm pretty sure a ton of you will get it. You're very smart yourself. My viewers tend to be engineering-y types, but I'll, uh, I'll give you that uh, challenge anyway. What are the cable ties for? sorted all these out so it's all a bit neater keep them covered um, that's the interesting thing about doing knives now I've only ever done titanium in the past only ever worked with, worked with titanium and as soon as I started doing knives because we use steel um, uh, even though it's stainless steel it's not 100% stainless uh, spots of rust appear so we've got to keep things covered all the time or put coolant or some oil on them so I spent a little bit of time earlier today modifying these these things, can't remember them, scales. So, tweak them a little bit so that they fit into the larger, uh, uh, the larger pockets, because the, the other ones were a bit loose. Um, so Brad is running these right now, just about to start. It's actually Saturday today. Brad and I are the only people working. Woo! Only for the, only for the, the hardcore. The, the hardcore either, that or the, either that or the sad and pathetic. One or the other. Or crazy. Or I, crazy. I, I'd like to go with crazy. I'll go with pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got to empty this tumbler. You know how something bad usually comes from something... No. You know how something good usually comes from something bad? Well, woke up really early this morning. Couldn't sleep. Um, so just came down here, started started milling, water jet cutting, tumbling, all before six o'clock. Um, and it's Sunday as well. How uh, how uh, sad, pathetic, awesome. I don't know. Like, it feels good to be productive, but you no, know, I feel like I should have a life as well. But um, yeah, sun's out, workshops clean, machines are going. It's, uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a good week actually. continues we are getting loads done getting near the end of it um, what we are doing here is 
You know what? I'll let Brad expri explain, explain it. What are we doing here? Uh, mainly, we're taking that old bag, that whole bag of old, really badly contaminated tumbling media. We get media, we get cross contamination. Here's an example. There's one media going into the other. It's usually not a problem, but as saw Brad showed you there, um, this is really contaminated. It's a little bit different because because where it's from is actually it's from a from a oh look the trees um, the pump's gone a bit squint. There we go. So when we put the different media through this machine, it all flows out here, and so um, we end up with a pool of basically just bits of the old loads of bits of all the different types of media in the bottom of this. So the other day, uh, we had a big clean up, we were moving stuff, Brad cleaned it out, put the bag, put the bag in the trailer to dump. Uh, I did put a post on Instagram, and someone on Instagram said, oh, you should see what the finish is. And I was just like, yeah, maybe we should. So Brad's just given it a bit of a, We've a got bit all, of a clean. all sorts in here. Oh, I've got rubber and everything. Rubber, leaves. Um, bits of plastic. Bits leaves, of plastic. leaves, really? Leaves, yeah, that's leaves. what that was. Um, oh, I thought it was rubber. No. Oh, so a leaf. Let's, let's try. <laughs> um, so next, yes. Next barrel. Oh, so on. yeah, I don't know what the finish is going to be because it's. Um, it'll be interesting. We'll see. We'll do a test. We'll do a half-hour tumble uh, with a part and just. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I am. So, I am so happy right now. Um, Brad has just flooded the workshop. It's. It's like a. For it's his like, first time. For his first time. It's, it's a rite of passage here. I have flooded this place multiple times. Most recently, a few weeks ago, it was just everywhere. Like, you know, um, Nathan's done it a handful of times. So we got our first flood here. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what happened, but uh, it's uh, Brad's fault. I don't know. Brad's first flood. It's been quite a productive few days. Um, the, milling, the, the milling machine is still going right now as I record this. And uh, yeah, awesome. Public holiday here tomorrow, still gonna work. Might have a little bit of time off. Um, and then just in next week, hopefully we get these shipped next week, um, the, the knives and uh, yeah. I will leave you with a quote, of course. It is by Zig Ziglar. And he said, if you learn from defeat, then you haven't really lost.